Harvest Supper. When I was little, my friend Duncan had a farm. He had a combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had a farm too. Duncan's daddy had a big, big combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had fields that grew things that were harvested by the combine harvester. One day, we went to Duncan's farm for harvest supper. Daddy said, harvest supper was a party. Say yippee for all the things that grew on the farm. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! The harvest supper day was the last day of the harvest and the last day for the combine harvester. Wooly came too. Mummy said that all the things for the supper were grown on the farm. Look, Tig, all the food here for the harvest supper has been grown on the farm. So Wheat for the bread. And apples for the apple juice. Apple for the juice. Right, Tig, why don't you go upstairs and play with Duncan and I'll give the a hand. Good girl. Yes. Duncan was playing on his little farm. I drove the tractor. I collected the hay bales. Deep break for the farmers. Then Duncan's mummy gave us juice and OT flapjacks. Those are OT flapjacks and guess what? The oats are grown here on the farm. Mummy said the OT flapjacks were grown on the farm too. The OT flapjacks were so good. I wanted to see them harvested. Outside, Duncan's daddy drove off on his big, big combine harvester. Come on, said Mummy. Harvest time. I wanted to see the Oti flapjacks. I was so excited. Daddy wanted to make a scarecrow. We watched as Duncan's daddy drove the big, big combine harvester. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as the combine emptied grain. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as straw came out of the back. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. OK, time to make a scarecrow, said Daddy. Where are the Oti flapjacks? Where are the Oti flapjacks? In the kitchen, said Mummy. They grow in the fields. No, just the oats for the oaty flapjacks grow in the fields. No oaty flapjacks. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you expect to see something and then you don't. No oaty flapjacks. Especially if they're oaty flapjacks. But sometimes when we don't quite understand, things can get mixed up. But Mummy said, Wooly. Mummy said that oats grew in the field, not that oaty flapjacks grew in the field. Oaty flapjacks don't grow, oaty flapjacks are made. Oaty flapjacks are made from the oats that grow. What we can see is the oats that grow being harvested. That's the fun. The oat grains poured into the trailer and then we have the leftover straw dropped out of the combine harvester to make the scarecrow. <laughs> so go for it, Tig. Have some harvest fun. Make a scarecrow. Yes, I thought. I'm going to have some harvest fun now. I'm going to help make the scarecrow. We all collected the leftover straw from the combine harvester. We had fun stuffing old clothes. We tied the stuffed clothes to a pole. We filled an old pillowcase with straw too. Yeah. There we go. Right, let's have a wee look. Duncan's mummy drew eye. I drew a mouse. That's excellent, that's brilliant. We carried the scarecrow back to the farm. We were having the harvest supper in a shed. Daddy popped the scarecrow inside. My hat. Lots of people came to the harvest supper. The giggly lady brought some eggs. 
everyone brought something. Vegetables, honey, sunflowers, pictures. My friend Louise brought a picture of a sandcastle. Mummy pinned it up next to my picture of the sea. Duncan's mummy gave us all a corn dolly made of straw. I had one and Louise had one. Duncan's daddy finished harvesting. Everything had been harvested. Now we could have our harvest supper. I told Louise that the harvest supper was all grown on the farm. Everything that we're eating is grown on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I propose a toast to the farmer Duncan and to the harvest? The, the harvest. harvest! After supper, it was time to take our scarecrow to the fields. When I looked for my corn dolly, Louise had taken it. Louise, this is my corn dolly. That is yours. Yours, mine. The one nearest to my bread, that's Louise. Lu Louise, that's my corn dolly. No, it isn't, it's mine. Louise had taken my corn dolly. No, but isn't that your one? No, that's Louise's. But they're exactly the same. No, no, no. It's just a little thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, Tig, when you know you're right, it's not fair that someone else thinks you're wrong. Louise has my corn dolly. But Louise is quite sure she's right too. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, who can say? Just everyone looks in different ways. Wee! One way you'll see the darkness, one way you'll see the light. Depends which way you're looking, if it's sunrise or the night. One way you'll see the waves break, one way you'll see the sand. Depends which way you're looking, if you're by the sea or land. Hey, stop spoiling all the fun and messing up the day. What matters most is getting on and joining in the play. Another, but I didn't want to mess up the day. I wanted to join in the fun. Daddy put up the new scarecrow in a field. The scarecrow might frighten crows, but the scarecrow seemed scared of Wooly. It's only a toy spider. Then we all danced. and harvest supper. I like my corn dolly and I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were me. Come on, let's go. The dance class. Are you excited about going to your dance class? Come on then. When I was little, my daddy took me to my dancing class. I'd never been to dance class before. You're going to the ballet class. Mummy bought me special clothes to wear. My dancing dress was pink. My dancing shoes were pink and soft. 
You look like a fairy tale princess. Right, let's go do the ballet class, come on. Off we went to the dancing class. Willie came too. Daddy took me to a big, big room. You're going to have fun, Tig. Here you go, bye. See you later. OK. For those of you that are new, my name is Miss Lottie, and I hope you're going to try really hard to enjoy your dance classes and listen to everything that I say. Everybody spread out. That's Miss it. Lottie shouted. Music! Right Music, please, Mr Tonka. Mr Honky played the piano. We're going to be trees, OK? So Miss Lottie shouted, trees! Stretch up towards the ceiling. All right, and leaves. Miss Lottie shouted, leaves. Here and there. OK, lambs. Now I want you to skip around like baby lamb. Miss Lottie shouted, skip! I didn't like Miss Lottie shouting. Lambs, keep going. I didn't like Miss Lottie at all. Me and Willie sat beside Mr Honky and his piano. I didn't like dancing class. Hey Tig, I want to join in the dancing too. Come on! I don't like the shouted lady. Yes, you're right. When teachers shout, it does seem a bit scary. But Miss Lottie isn't shouting at you, Tig. She's shouting so we can all hear her. Whee! Miss Lottie sounds loud when you're close to her. All right, everybody, we're going to be frogs. Hey, Tig, did you hear that? She wants us to be frogs. I love being a frog. Hey, Tig, look at me being a frog. And crouch, and hop, and crouch, and hop. Ribbit, ribbit. Legs up into the air, bicycle time, and pedal. Pedal? Pedal, 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 whee! Horses, right gallop and trip. Hey Tig, she wants us to be horses. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, trot, 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 trot. Yeehaw! Phew, Tig, that was so much fun. I'm pooped. Your turn. But the shouting. Tig, Miss Lottie has to shout so you can hear what to do above the music. Then I thought, Mr Honky's piano is very loud and I don't mind that. Whee! To the side. So I don't mind Miss Lottie shouting. I joined in. I had such fun. I galloped. I was a snowflake. Now flap your arms and flap. A butterfly. I did kitty cat crawls. I skipped. At the end of the lesson. And stop. Miss Lottie said that I was going to wear the crown. I'd like to present this lovely crown to Tig. Today was Tig's first day. And became a fairy princess. Princess Tig. Lovely. I like Miss Lottie. I like dancing too. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were me. Going to school. When I was little, I went to school. Not my nursery school, but a big school. Wooly came too. Before I went to school, me and my mummy went to see it. A nice lady showed us the big school. Who's this? Wooly. Would you like to come and show Wooly something to school? There were lots of rooms. There were lots of stairs. They were pegs to hang up our coats. They were toilets. I like the toilets. They have lots of basins. Then the nice lady showed us into a room with lots of pictures and chairs. And this is Miss Sanderson. She's going to be your teacher. This will be your classroom, Tig. 
Miss Sanderson will be your teacher. I liked Miss Sanderson. She smiled at me. Miss Sanderson showed me my classroom. That's right. There were tables for writing, play areas just like nursery. I had my very own draw. Then I met a girl called Julia. Julia, she's going to be your buddy when you come to school. Julia was my buddy. Julia gave me a book all about her. I liked my new big school. Mummy bought me new clothes for school. They were clothes just like Julia's. OK, Tig, do you want to go and try on your uniform? Yes, When Daddy came home, he didn't know who I was. Who's this? Tig. No, you can't be Tig. Oh, it is Tig. <laughs> Yay. Funny, Daddy. And here's your bag, Tig. Thank you, Mummy. You're all set for school. Yeah. On my first day at my new big school, I was very excited. We hung up our coats. In my classroom, Miss Sanson let us choose what to do. I played just like at nursery. I knew some of the children. They were at my nursery. Yippee! Later, Miss Sanderson said to sit down. Now, boys and girls, we are going to do some letter work. We did sounds. We did shapes. And swap. We learnt letters. Miss Sanderson showed us how to write letters. Down with a two. Do you think you could have a go? I wrote my letters with a pencil. Wonderful. Well done. Just keep going. I want to make all the letters just right for Miss Sanderson. Ping! My pencil broke. I couldn't write anymore. I didn't know what to do. Oh dear, Tig, you broke your pencil. I know how you feel. You don't want Miss Sanderson to know, do you? No. But Miss Sanderson is here to help Tig. If you don't tell her your worries, she can't help sort them. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy, all your bits and bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy worry free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy Any little bit of bother Have a funny tummy Feeling kind of grumpy All your bits of bother grow bigger Don't wait for your worries to disappear They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share Don't wait for your worries to disappear They'll be gone in a hurry you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy boy free days. Go for it, Tig! <laughs> yes, I thought. My pencil's broken. I must tell Miss Sanderson. Oh, that's no worries. I'll give you a new one. There you go. No worries, said Miss Sanson, and gave me another pencil. I loved my first day at school. When I got my shoes the wrong way round, I told Miss Sanson. 
When I wanted to go to the toilet... Excuse me, where's the toilet? A teacher reminded me where to go. In the playground, I had no worries. My buddy Julia showed me everything. We played and had fun. After break, we had numbers and counting. Going to school was so much fun. Me and Julia had lunch together. I had lunch on a tray. After lunch, Miss Sanson read us a story. I wanted Willie to cuddle, but I couldn't find him. Yes, Tick. I've lost Willie. Okay. I told Miss Sanderson. I was so worried. Miss Sanderson couldn't find Willie. Poor Willie was lost. Miss Sanderson told the nice lady. The nice lady told the head teacher. The head teacher told Julia, my buddy. Yeah, do you know where he is? I know where Willie is. Excellent. On you go. Julia knew where Willie was. Willie was where I had left him when I went out to play. I was so happy to have Willie to hug again. After school, when I got home, I was very tired. How's your first day at school? I was grumpy. I didn't want to talk. I wanted to hold poor Willie. Hey, Tig! You've had your first day at school. You're very tired. But what has made you even more tired is losing me. Maybe tomorrow you should leave me here at home. No, Willie, I'll never, I'll never leave you. But you left me today and I got lost. School is a busy place. You don't want me to get lost again. I love you, Willie. And I love you too, Tig. I'll be here waiting for you every day, like Mummy and Daddy. Yippee! Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I love Willie. I love Mummy and Daddy. I like them safe at home. Going to school the next day was exciting. We did gym. We did counting. We played. Miss Sanson read us a story. I hugged a frog and thought of Willie. When I came home, Willie was waiting for me. I'm only a toy spider. Then I told Willie and Mummy and Daddy all about my day at school. And then after break, I like going to school. I like coming home. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. The piano. When I was little, I wanted to play the piano. So Mummy took me for a piano lesson. The piano lesson was in a big music school where lots of people learned music. My piano teacher was Mr Tonka. When Mr Tonka played his piano, he played all the notes together, very fast. Now, do you want to learn to play the piano? Yes, I said. So, so Mr Tonka showed me all the notes. The low note. Well done. The middle note. This one? Yeah. And the high note. That one? Yeah, that one. Well done. I played all the notes together, like Mr Tonka. OK, why don't you come back next week and we can learn about the going up notes and the going down notes. We'll look forward to that, Mr Tonka. OK, okay. see you next week. Bye-bye. And my next piano lesson, Mr Tonka was in his tiny room playing one of his pianos. How are you doing? I've written some notes on a page. Mr Tonka had written me some music dots. The music dots went up and down. Let's see if we can play a scale. Now. Want to try that? I 
play the notes up like the dots. That's great. Okay. I didn't want to play the note one by one anymore. I played the notes all together like Mr Tonka. Take next time, next week, say Mr Tonka, to we'll give the, the notes, notes names. These notes. When I went for my piano lesson again, Mr Tonka was very excited. Hello, come and sit oh, down. Yeah. Look what I've been doing for you. He had pictures for the notes. An apple, a ball, a cat. See if you can play the apple note. Play me the apple note, said Mr Tonka. I didn't want to play the apple note. I played all the notes, like Mr Tonka. I've just got to go. Mr Tonka left. Dick, you have to listen to what Mr Tonka asks you to do. I know how to do the piano. No, I said. I want to play all the notes together. I played some more, but the notes didn't sound quite right. Hey, Tig. Whee! It might be fun playing all the notes together, but some notes don't sound nice together. Some notes sound better by themselves. If you play each note by itself, you can play a tune. Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. When Mr Tonka plays the piano, it might look like he's playing all the notes, but Mr Tonka plays only the notes he needs. Mr Tonka listened to his teacher and learnt what notes to play. Go for it, Tig! Whee! Listen to Mr Tonka and learn how to play the piano. Yes, I thought. I want to learn to play the piano. So I'll listen to Mr Tonka and do what he tells me. When Mr Tonka came back, he told me how to play a tune. We played the tune together. Boing! Ah! Hello, your tiny spider. I like Mr. Tonka teaching me. I like going to my piano lessons. I love Willie.